Hello viewers, Enjoy Tactics here, and today I'll be showing you Wireless Redstone with no mods. Now, Wireless Redstone was developed by Redstoners by using the functions of the game, the natural workings of the game, and tricking them into, and actually using it to uh, transmit signals wirelessly. So, for example, if you watch that piston, I will click this button. I'm not using any command blocks. My chat is clearly turned on. So, you can see that it activates, and if I flick this lever, it stays on, and it will continue to stay on until I turn it off. So that's really cool. And you may say, oh, you did, you did something underground, or there's something in between that I don't see. No. Like, I'll go under this, there's nothing under here, there's nothing under here, I built them completely in the air. There's no invisible blocks, just to show you, I'm gonna... Yeah, see, so there's nothing hidden from you. Everything is in plain sight, and now I'm sure you're pretty curious to see how this works. Because I've proven to you that by no direct contact does this sender and this receiver of the redstone signal actually connect. So how in the world does it work? Well, we'll get into that, but first, I want to show you how to build it, because I'm sure people are going to be curious how to build it. And the cool thing about this is that it has a constant delay, meaning I could take this and this and put them ten times as farther apart, and it would still be the exact same amount of delay whenever I click this button for that to activate. So, yeah. You can put these miles apart, and it won't make any difference to the speed. So that's why maybe if you're trying to uh, have a long, long signal reach somewhere, and it's gonna add a lot of delay, this could be a better alternative. Okay, now with what you've just seen, I'm sure you're dying to know how this works, but first I'm gonna show you how to build it for those people who don't really care. So, we're gonna start off with an air platform to prove I don't do any underground redstone, which I've already given enough proof, but still. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off like this. We're gonna put a uh, dispenser right there put a button there and then on the other side we're gonna put a block with redstone another block and then we're gonna put a piston right here with glass and then on the side of the button you just want to crouch down and place the glass and then you might want to put a block here to pick up the arrows that actually fall so that you don't have to go retrieve them after the dispenser is using them so at this point we've made our sender now the only thing we really have left to do actually we can add a lever here if you want to or here if you want to add one more to the dimension, it doesn't really matter. But now all we have to do is get a whole bunch of arrows. If you're in creative mode, you just hover over the arrow and then hit 1 through 9 on your keyboard. Oops. Hover over it, 1 through 9. There we go, that worked that time. So now I'm going to right click this, hold shift, just shift click all these arrows in very quickly. And this is our sender. Our sender is finished. Now the way this is going to work is that it's going to actually use hitboxes. It, updates the hitboxes and the interesting thing about hitboxes is that once you update them in a certain place they update everywhere else so I'm just gonna give you a quick example so you can understand how this is gonna work okay so if I have for example glass here and I need a solid block let's say I put a boat right here now Okay, it's resting on this glass. That's why it's staying up in the air. Now, if I put glass here, then it's actually going to fall because it changes the hitbox of this one so that it's not this box anymore. It's this little sliver that can't hold up the boat. Now, the interesting thing about this concept is that uh, this can happen universally. So, I can do it over here, and I, I have to update it. I, I can update it by shooting an arrow into it, looking at it, or stepping in it, right? So, um, when I do this, when I do this, if we had a piston right here updating this glass, it would actually tell the glass to um, update the hitbox, like, like this is. So, that's how this works. I have a sender over here. I'm updating the hitbox of every iron bar. And then over there, they also have an iron bar, and it's constantly checking to see if I've updated it. And when it detects that I have updated it, like I just showed you, 
well then it's going to output a signal and the boat is actually going to fall on a pressure plate and that's how we know so for example here's how it works uh, we have glass panes here and let's say I use the sender to update the glass panes these glass panes and then it updates the ones over here drops the boat and then use the piston to reset it so you can use the signal over and over so we have our sender done now we're gonna work on the receiver now there's a certain clock set you have to put it to in order for it to uh, work and be reusable so we're gonna put these really far apart like I mean we're gonna put them pretty far apart just to prove that the space in between doesn't matter so to start off with this uh, we're gonna need the redstone tools we need redstone redstone torch repeater that should be good enough for now so I guess we can start off like this we want to block like that block like that break that block block here and then you want to put a torch here and you can also put a repeater on four takes going into this block going into the torch and then just put redstone here and here that makes a clock now this is the exact clock that we need in order to uh, get the right timings for the piston to update the hitbox so we're going to put redstone here it's going to get an output from this block and then we're going to take a redstone repeater set it to four ticks so that these happen almost I think at the same time except when we put a torch here this is going to be uh, one tick off so that it'll have one tick to pull back and then push back up so now that we've done that all we need to do is take our piston put it right there like that and it's actually gonna work now in order to place your boat that can be a little annoying when it's doing that so we're just gonna lock it like I showed you actually I don't think I showed you that so you can just place the lever there and lock the clock and from there what you want to do is you need to get an output so like I said we, we just use a wooden pressure plate put it right there I'm gonna put a block here the boat break that and we're all set so now we just take redstone out like this just like that and disconnect it from that and that is our receiver and you can also make the signal uh, the output come out here if you wanted it really doesn't matter I just use this right here to keep the dimensions small so now we have the boat here and everything set up we unlock the clock it will start checking for a hitbox update and like I said before if the hitbox updates the boat will fall and it will output a signal right so I'm gonna go over here way over here flick this lever update the hitbox of glass go back on over here and we can see that this is turned on and that the hitbox is actually updated now if I go back on over here and I turn it off you can see it went back off very clearly it's very simple and very easy and there's another way another interesting way you can do this if you take glass panes like this and you put them like this you can actually just take your bow and shoot it actually I'm sorry this is the right side that we need to shoot and then it activates it because it updates the hitbox and you can also update the hitbox by walking in to the hitbox like this so you have to update it and that is how uh, you can send signals wirelessly so um, yeah that's pretty much it this is a bit confusing I mean this isn't the most straightforward thing you've ever seen it's not really easy to understand how this exactly works so if you have any questions or you you're confused on how the updating of the hitboxes can for example send the signal then just leave a comment down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a rating, comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome creations.